Ladies and gentlemen, this is Johnny Mo from Empire at War Remake, and today I'm making a short um, installation instruction video for people who are having trouble installing the mod. Um, I have made several of these step by step um, tutorials, but a lot of people still are not able to get it installed correctly, so let's get started. First of all, we download the file. That's this one, the beta. This, by the way, is a new news article um, explaining why the Steam Gold Pack um, doesn't work. Um, so we basically download the file, simply click download here. Um, this is the file itself, I've downloaded it in advance. It's right here. It's a pretty large archive. I've compressed it down as much as I can, but we're not going to get it smaller than this. It's an archive, which means a uh, .rar file, which means if you simply have WinRAR you can open this file. Um, WinRAR is free and it's safe, so download it. It's useful for many things. Um, you'll see mods everywhere using this format, so it's safe and easy to install, so just go to that. If we open the archive, we have this folder, very simple, Empire will Re. This is the folder we're going to be extracting. Double click, these are the contents. Installation instructions. You won't need those since you are watching this video. First we're going to have to locate Empire at War Forces of Corruption. Well, I happen to know where that is. Local disk C. I have here the folder GOG Games. I have FTL, another nice game. Uh, Star Wars Empire at War Gold. Then we go here. This is the folder containing the Forces of Corruption um, files, uh, data, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, in here we have a folder called mods, if not then just create a new archive, a new folder or Control shift n for a new folder. If we open up the mods folder, I've got a whole bunch of mods installed here. Um, this is not important, this is a very old backup, I can actually just delete this since I have all the old archives on ModDB. And this is the development version of Empire at War Remake. But we're going to install this version. Alright, so in, to put this here, simply drag, hold, click, left mouse button, and drag it, and release left mouse button. It will now start unpacking. Alternatively, what you can do is you can right click this folder, and there should be options for um, unpack here or something like that. It basically means that you can extract this folder wherever you want, we're going to put it here. So now we wait a second until this is done. Alright, and here we have our folder, Empire at War V. Now comes the part that everybody, well, seems to have some issues with. The 4 gigabyte allocation patch. What the hell is this? Why is there a .exe here? Why is there another, another archive here? Basically the mod is so graphically intensive that the game no longer holds up and when um, the game tries to run with the mod, it runs out of memory and it therefore crashes. There's a very simple fix for this, namely we give the game more memory to work with. It has 2 gigabytes. With this, we can give it 4 gigabytes. With 4 gigabytes, it doesn't crash. Very simple, right? Not so much, because the Steam version of the game does not work with the 4 uh, gigabyte allocation patch. Why? Well, because it alters the executable of the game slightly. And Steam doesn't like that, since it thinks you are cheating or whatever it thinks, but it basically doesn't start the game. You apply the 4 gigabyte patch and um, it'll then refuse to launch the game. This is why I have advocated the GOG version called back, by the way. Any disk version should work fine as well. It's just Steam that's fucking up. Um, I've tried to fix this myself. I'll delete this because we're gonna do it in one go. Um, but I can't find a, I can't find a fix for it. It's just it's, it's really a Steam related issue. If I could fix it, I would. I've been getting numerous complaints. Um, but alas, I, I can't do anything about this. This issue is on Steam's end, because Steam doesn't allow you to 
alter the game's executable file. Anyway, on to this. I'm sorry if this is where many of you switch off, by the way, but as I said, I can't tell Steam to get its shit together. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm with my hands in the air. It's not up to me. I can't change this. I can only make it run. I can only make the mod run well, so, yeah. For a gigabyte patch, click and drag this here. We simply click it, double click. Um, Medieval Total War, GG Games, Empire of War Gold, Forces of Corruption. Empire at War Forces of Corruption. This is the executable file. You now click open and it should create a backup. This already exists here. I already applied the patch, but I'll just do it again. Executable successfully patched. Okay. Now you should have this here, which is a backup file. If you um, want to revert back to the two gigabyte version of the game for whatever reason, um, you just delete this. You rename this. And you can now double click this and it will launch the game normally. We of course don't want that, we want the 4 gigabyte patch, so I'll once again show, double click the .exe, select SWFOC, open, okay. I also did this with the regular Empire at War executable by the way, which you go back here, you go to game data, should be here, yes this. Simply click open again and it'll create the backup for the old file and this is your new file. So, now that we have the 4 gigabyte patch installed, we can go to mods, Empire at War Re. We no longer need this, we can delete it. We also don't need this, we can delete it. This is the shortcut, which means if I double click this now, it'll automatically launch the game and the mod if it is installed in this folder. Local disk C, GOG, blah 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 blah. If this is not where you have the game installed, you right click this, you go to properties, and there should be the shortcut properties here. Note that the target here is exactly this path. If you click single time here, you can see this. You can copy this, hold this, called delete to delete um, this stuff. Oh wait, this is actually the uh, forces of corruption.exe, which is located here. Double click this, click. Tell again. We are missing a slash, so we just copy this. Put this slash back here. And the executable. Right, note this mod path is mods slash empire at war re. This means that in this folder that you have specified here, it will use the mod path is mods, this is the folder, and then slash, the folder is. Empire at War Re. This will tell uh, the shortcut where the data folder is located, which needs to override the regular game's files. Then we have here, start in, which is the exact same thing, only it's just the folder without the executable. You click apply and then OK. You can do this same process for where you have your game installed. Again, if this is Steam, you will not be able to use the 4 gigabyte. Uh, for a gigabyte allocation patch because Steam doesn't like that and I'm sorry but you will not be able to play the mod without crashes. Simple fix for that is to not use Steam basically. Again the GOG version of the game runs without issues. If we now launch the shortcut it should launch the mod. Do you want to open this file? We do. Now I'm not sure if uh, my OBS is going to record the game screen here, but the game is loading, it's at the load screen right now, aka the splash screen. And right now it has launched the game and I am looking at the menu, where the ships are warping in. And you can now, well, just... 
play the game. It should now work without crashes. I will give one warning up front, namely the large Galactic Conquest maps. Uh, the very large one, which I introduced, I think, one version ago. It is... I think it's called Galactic Civil War. No, let me find it for you. Hold on. I think it's Equal Footing and Galactic Civil War. These two Galactic Conquest maps have so many planets that later in the game, if you load a autosave or a regular save made on these Galactic Conquest maps, the game will not be able to handle the amount of stuff going on and it will also crash. This is fixed and the next version that I will upload, not the current version, in which I have deleted those Galactic Conquest maps. So, unless you're playing those maps and you're trying to load a game um, that's like a few weeks in, you should be fine and there should be no crashes. Skirmishes and stuff work without any issues. You can do 2v2 versus hard AI, which gets a lot of money and then you'll have many ships on the screen at once and you'll see that it will not crash. Um, I hope this cleared up how you can prevent the crashes and how to install the mod easily and the 4 gigabyte allocation patch. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. I mean, you're good to go. I hope you have fun. I hope you learned something. And, uh, well, goodbye. Oh, and do leave a comment if you played the mod and you have some feedback or you want to suggest something. I do read all the comments, so, well, goodbye.